Hi Conley Clan family! I thought today we would do a check-in on the kids to see how homeschooling is going. So let's go find them. Okay, so we are trying to get used to a schedule and a routine and you know right before Thanksgiving we got into it and everything was going great and then we had Thanksgiving break and now I feel like it's gotten really hard to get the kids back onto a schedule. So at 9 o'clock, it's 9 o'clock now, they're supposed to be sitting down doing their learning, learning what they're interested in, so let's go check and see who is ready. Okay, we've got two girls here learning. Jade's on time. I'm setting up for Lana. Elena's on time. Now Jade actually, Jade loves to go to bed early and she likes to wake up early. So. And school early. And start school early. Mom made me a nerd. I made you a nerd. <laughs> that's not nerd, that's actually very smart because then you're gonna be smart. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you see my drawings? Let's see. Here's my pizza. Okay. That's cool. Thanks. Here's my cloud. Ooh. My cherry cake. Oh my gosh, yeah. There's my... Uh, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, and that's one of my favorites. A glass of wine. <laughs> you can that's see the funny. wine right I there. I see it, wine. yeah. And then I tried to make it look 3D, but that one's horrible. <laughs> that's a good first start. Yeah. yeah. My art. And then an iPhone. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, now I'm going to draw that fox. You're going to draw a fox? Yeah. All right. Okay, Elena, what are you working on? Uh, 3D art. 3D art. So I do this. Um, Ooh, that's cool. You guys are learning about shading. I do this. That's nice. The love. Okay. This. Yep. I like your mountains. Mountains and a stocking. Uh, Yep, school supplies. Um, yeah, an angel, a heart. Nice. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite one. I love that one. Okay, so tell me, what else have you learned since you've been home? What um, else did you work on? How the human body walks. Yeah, you guys learned quite a bit about that. What's one of your favorite things you found out? Um... Without your heart, you without your bones, you would be a bouncy ball because they keep the muscle together yep. and all the veins together. How many bones do you have? Do you remember? Um, a grown up has two hundred five or six. A baby and child has three hundred six. And so, what happens to those bones? They uh. When you get older and older, your bones start connecting. Yeah. So then you'll you'll have less bones. But yeah. And you were telling me something about your brain can power. What? Oh, your brain can power LED lights at four four uh, some forty two watts. Or okay. Something. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? There's so much. Your brain has so much power. Now let's look at Jade over here. What have you been learning? Dogs. About dogs? Mm -hmm. Horses. Okay. Of course, I love dogs and horses. Yeah. Um, what? Oh, baking. Yeah. And, and you've been working on some other sheets, some worksheets. Oh, yeah, I'll go get my two. Okay. And this, I only got two more. Woo! So you're learning how to multiply three digit by two digit numbers. Uh huh. That's great. And you love multiplication. Yeah. Me. John! Hi, John! Hello. You want to tell us what you've been... Well, first tell me, what do you think of homeschool? It's sort of, but also sort of not. You like it and don't like it? Yes. Okay. So, 
Tell me what you've been learning. Uh, how to how to start a business. How to start a business. That's a good thing to know. And that, what's one thing that you've learned about that? Look, when you advertise your um, uh, business, you usually put them on like billboards, newspapers. You don't really put them on like, you don't really have flyers really. Okay, yeah, flyers are kind of, I mean, people still use them, but they're uh, kind of out. Yeah, the newspapers. The Social media. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what is one thing you learned? What's another way other than advertising you can grow your business? Remember? Uh, uh, having like one person say some like tell another person that your business is good. Yeah. And that they'll come to your. That's business. called word of mouth. Yeah. We have also rearranged this room a little bit, so we have shrunk our table down and put our TV that was outside up above the fireplace because it's starting to get really cold here and we won't be using it outside so we put it down here and we moved our buffet over to the wall and in place of this bench right here we are going to actually get a couch and put that there so the kids can use this space for not only learning but also for TV time in the evenings. Okay, let's see who's up here. Lily Lou, you're up here. What are you learning about? How to draw 3D. You're doing 3D drawing? Yep. What were you learning about? Um, I was learning times. You were learning multiplication. You've gotten really good yeah. at some of your multiplication. Yeah, I'm le I learned that early. I'm learning this early, too. Yeah, you're right. You did learn your multiplication early. That's not until third grade, and you're only second. Yeah. And you were also doing the human body with Elena. Yeah. What's one of your favorite facts you learned about the human body? Um, that there are four systems in the body. Charlie, are you learning the ABCs? I, I couldn't find JD's computer. You couldn't find JD's computer? Yeah, I learned about ABCs and Blaze. Oh, ABCs and Blaze, too? Yeah. <laughs> you can do work on your ABC book. Yeah, I kind of find it. Okay, I'll show you where it's at, okay? Got my pencil. Isabella's down here. What are you working on, Isabella? Math. Math or sight words? Sight words. Right now you're working on sight words. You guys have been learning time, how to tell time on an analog clock. And, and you have been doing some math stuff. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. Okay. I don't know how to do this. Well, Mom will help you. I don't know how to do this. What do you think about homeschooling right now? Do you like it or not? Mm. Yeah. You do? <laughs> and these are the stuff I got done. Today. Oh, you've got a lot of stuff done. About wolves. Wolves, okay. And now the time is known about weather. Oh, weather, yeah. Math. Ooh, how you're feeling, a feeling poem. Yeah. Um, dolphins. Oh, dolphins. Um, math. Yes. Handwriting. Your handwriting is very good. Um, That's beginning consonant sounds. Um, math. More math, more sight words. Sight words. <laughs> you're missing your spy sheet. We have to find your spy sheet because you learned about spies too. Spies and dolphins and wolves and weather. You've learned about a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Gavin, what are you learning about? Reading. You're working on reading, aren't you? Are you doing a better job? Yeah, you are a little bit behind on reading, but you sure are learning a lot these days. You're reading so much better. A black. Very hug. Rosie has finally joined us. Yes. She was doing some yoga in her room. Yeah. Okay, so what have you been learning about? Um, 3D um, drawing. I did this yesterday. Um, I can't think of a new one today, but I did this one yesterday. Okay. And it looks like this. Let's see. Oh, it's popping off the page. Yeah, you have to go at a certain angle to see that it's popping off the page. That's pretty cool, though. And then I shaded the things, yep. and I used an eraser to make the um, like the shadow. So you guys learned about shading. Yes. And you guys either used your finger or 
I showed you how to use a Kleenex, shoot. yeah. <laughs> okay, and what else have you, now, now let's talk real quick. Mm -hmm. You kind of gave it away that you were one of the kids that wanted to go back to school for 15 days. Yes. <clears throat> what are you thinking about homeschool? I like homeschooling. Do you? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Okay, now you have actually learned quite a bit too. What else have you been working on? Well, I've kind of kind of put French aside. Okay, but you did learn a lot of French words. Yes. How many did you have? I had like 70 or 60 or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> French words. And then also I did baking tips. Okay. I just learned um, about the stars of my zodiac sign. Yeah. About how like it's the rarest one because it was the hardest one to find. And out of all the stars, it was the hardest zodiac to find. That's interesting. Yeah, so it's the last one at the bottom. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, what time is it? Mom's teaching. Mom's time. Yeah. So this Mom's is the time shine. where, what do we do, John? Uh, mom's teaching. Well, what do, what? <laughs> mom's teaching. <laughs> Guess. What does that mean, John? <laughs> mom's teaching. But I don't really teach. Yeah, well, we're learning about what we've learned today. We're learning about what we learned today. Usually okay. three facts. So everybody gets to go around and tell what they learned today. Gavin's really excited because he was doing handwriting and he really good. He, Gavin, did an amazing job on his handwriting today. Yep. So what is what mom thinks is so important about this time is that everybody else gets to learn from the person speaking. So Jade gets to learn about what John learned and Isabella gets to learn about what Gavin learned and everybody gets to learn from each other. So I think that this time is super important because we all learn from one another. So Gavin has a little bit of problems with handwriting. So Elena and Gavin during buddy time today worked on handwriting. Let's see. And Gavin's handwriting looks Good. so nice Good. on that paper. You did a fantastic job today. Rosie, Rosie did some drawing. So it wasn't 3D drawing, it was just drawing. Okay. I did this one with Jade. It was really hard to color. Wow. I mean to, to uh, draw Let these. Let see that. To draw those. Um, so I just drew whatever I thought connected with each other. That's fantastic. And the best that I could. Okay. And then also I drew, the, I'm just not done and the nails are not the best. But I just have to erase things and keep going, but there's that. That looks really good. That's a great job. Thanks. Emma, what did you learn about today? Um, I learned about landscape design. Landscape yeah. design. Good. And yeah. what? any facts you learned? Um, that I can pay from talking. So if they, the people talk to me, I can pay. Cause every you can get minute, paid? Every minute. So I could talk to them for 13 minutes yeah. and still so get paid. Yeah, so you can charge for your expertise. Yeah. Do you see Christian in the background? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's so, he definitely keeps us on our toes during school, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's really good. And you have been really studying plants and all about becoming a landscape designer because that's what you want to be. Yeah. Right? Hey, what did you learn today? I learned about how much uh, some business, two businesses like cost. How much it cost? To start a business it usually costs us near two thousand to five thousand dollars. Wow. So it costs a lot to start a business. Yeah. If we're a landscaping business, yep. which I was talking about a lot. Yes. It, they usually make near sixty thousand dollars a year. Wow, that's good. And you are thinking that you want to own a lawn business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. What do we do, guys? Word of the Word day. day. Word of the day. Okay. So, what was yesterday's word? Mom helped Isabella with a word. And what was yesterday's word? It was on one of these. Did you? Superfluous. <laughs> Superfluous. Superfluous. Superfluous was the word. Okay, Rosie, do you remember what it means? No. You don't remember? I Who remembers? Me. What, Isabella? What does it mean? I. 
think it means, uh, I forgot. Lily, what's it mean? I don't know. <laughs> John, do you remember? Do you remember what superfluous means? Oh uh, yeah, unnecessary information. Unnecessary uh, information, that's right. So, where did we find, the, where did we find the word at? Do you remember where I heard the word at? The Grinch. On The Grinch, oh, we watched yeah. the movie The Grinch, and she says, Cindy Lou Who says, superfluous. And I said, hmm, I wonder what that means. And so we looked it up. Who has another word for the day? Me. Lily, what's your word for today? Enchanted. Ooh, that's a good word, enchanted. Do you know what it means? Yep. What does it mean? It means like it, it, Santa's magical. It's, um, um, He's enchanted. enchanted. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, sometimes it can mean you have, you're like gifted with something. Oh, yes. Rosie, what's your word? I think it's like emphasis or something. Emphasis? Yeah. yeah. What's your word? Empathy. Empathy. What's your yeah. word? Fragile. What is it? Fragile. Oh, fragile. Okay, let's pick Lily's word today. Okay. Enchanted. That's the word for today. So now school is over and it is time for the next thing on our schedule. The kids ate lunch, they cleaned up from lunch, and now they're doing their chores. So I got John over here, he's sweeping the kitchen floor and vacuuming the rugs too, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got Elena over here and wow, look at those dishes. <laughs> Looks like somebody forgot dish day yesterday. <laughs> but I actually think Jade did the dishes yesterday. Yeah, but we have so much of these new plates. We have new, yep, you're right. We bought new plates and bowls, so that way we can stop buying paper plates and bowls. And so we need those clean since they're new. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a good job on the dishes. Uh, we've got, let's see, Emma finished up. Rosie's doing laundry. What Lily do? <laughs> <laughs> There's Rosie. <laughs> um, uh, Lily, I think, did her chore. Isabella cleaned the appliances. So we've got a lot of kids around here doing some work. Mm -hmm. So Rosie is going to do two things. She wants to show us her picture. And she's going to talk to us about our schedule for homeschooling. Yeah. Okay, let's see your picture. I wasn't done the picture before, but now I am. Woo. Sure. Let me see. Wow. And then I put my initials in shading. That's cool. Looks like a little bracelet down there on her arm. Yeah. Oh, it does! <laughs> and then she has like a, her hoodie sleeve. Yeah. She's grabbing it and that stuff. So, you, you're going to tell us about our schedule. So yes. you have yours here. Let's see it. Oh, Ta-da! Ta-da! Voila! Voila! Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're funny. So we have a day, we have each day on there, except for one day you get a break. What day is that? Sunday. Sundays. And then um, it's pretty much the same every day. What do we, what do you guys do first? We, well, me and Jade probably get up at 8, either 47 or 5, no, 747 or um, 750. And then we walk the dogs. Okay. And then we say hi to our friends at the school. <laughs> <laughs> and then we eat breakfast and clean up after all the dogs are walked. We research our interests, so we go down there at the table and research our interests, we go to our rooms. Buddy learning, we get up with a partner and learn with each other. And then we go with, mom calls us to sit down at the table and we do what, what I learned, so everyone goes in order, seeing what they learn. And then after everyone's done, we do word of the day. So we all come up with different words. And mom chooses which one she wants to choose. We'll pick. And then we read for 30 minutes. We walk the dogs again. And then we eat lunch. And then we do our daily toy. Yes. All right. That's a pretty busy schedule. Yes. <laughs> it is late afternoon. Uh, actually, it's pretty early evening, I guess. But what are you guys doing? You're playing on Charlie's tablet. Making a video. Oh, you're making a video? But oh, I'm trying to play okay. Because everyone's trying to touch stuff. Everyone wants to touch your stuff? Yeah. Oh, it, my goodness. So you but you're playing cards. Yeah. Oh, wow. But I like that. Let's see, what, what are the kids doing back here? 
unicorn. Rosie's got a puzzle. I chose the ugly unicorn <gasps> because why? Oh my gosh, I think that's so beautiful. I don't beautiful. think it's pretty. You don't? No. But, wow. Uh, but I chose it because it had the most pieces, and I won a challenge. Oh. Okay. Now I see. I really think that that's pretty. You do? Yeah, I do. She thought it was ugly too. <laughs> Jeez, I guess we don't have the same taste. It's turning out really good, Jade. You don't want to finish it? No. What are you doing? Watching the Dodo channel. Oh. The Dodo. It's called the Dodo. I don't know why, but it's a rescue animal channel. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so Emma's going to finish your loom. And let's see. You're doing a puzzle over here. My neck hurts. <laughs> You're doing a Mario one. Is it this galaxy one? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Elena's helping me with dishes right now, but she was doing a Mario puzzle too. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can see hers. That's hers. You're back. You got the dishes done. Yeah, there's still more, so I have to do a song well. Okay. Uh, but we are good right now. Good. Yay. All right, thanks for helping me catch up. Oh, you gonna go back to your puzzle? Yeah. Okay. Do the oh, we're hanging out. What's that? Are you having snack? My snack. Should we show everybody that you can talk now? No. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Can you say blueberry? Blueberry. <gasps> Good job. Blueberry. Um, can you say thank you? <gasps> thank you. What else can you say? Can you say Jade? Thank you. Jade. <laughs> Can you say Rosie? Yes. Rosie. Wawa. <laughs> Can you say water? Wawa. Water. Wawa. You're doing so good trying. I yeah. love it. Yes. Can you? Yay. Wawa. Give me fist bump. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. Yeah, knuckles. <laughs> Oh, what'd she give you? Some carrots? Yummy. Did you say thank you? Thank you. So homeschooling itself uh, hasn't been challenging, but trying to get everybody on the same schedule, that has proved to be a little challenging. And then we have Christian and Charlie who are not in school yet. No, Charlie was in preschool, but not in elementary school yet. And so Christian likes to run around the house and scream and throw things a lot. And so he has kind of a chaotic energy that comes with him, trying to manage him at the same time as helping the kids do school has proved challenging. And then also we're trying to get Charlie on a similar schedule doing preschool work. She loves working in her ABC workbook. She loves watching um, videos, learning videos on YouTube. And so trying to just get everybody's schedules um, to kind of mesh together um, and getting the younger kids under control while the older kids are learning, that really has been what has proven difficult. So we are still working on that, but I do think that we have a pretty good routine set up and um, the kids are doing a fairly good job of learning that new routine and eventually it will just be second nature. Although Thanksgiving kind of threw a wrench in our schedule because we had a few days off and then Christmas break is coming up. And so I am anticipating that getting back into schooling in January, especially with the fact that we're going out of state and that we are going to be in Texas during that time. But what I'm hoping for is that we can do a lot of um, hands-on learning that uh, Texas is really big on history, and so they have a lot of historical markers that I thought would be really interesting to check out. Also, it is completely different than our state. And so they've got the ocean and ocean life, and um, all of those things I thought would be pretty cool for the kids to learn also. So there will be some different kind of learning, I think, going on in Texas that I think will be really beneficial for the kids. Now, if you guys have not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to click here to subscribe now. If you haven't caught our video on unschooling, click here to find out more about our unschooling adventure. Bye.